So we just left Copenhagen. And what are we doing now, Tim? We are driving on the, the bridge from the, the bridge. bridge. She race. <laughs> it is the famous Øresund. Did I say it right? Yeah. Øresund Bridge. That connects Cop uh, Copenhagen to Denmark and Malmo, Sweden. And then we'll take you to Sweden with us. So, welcome to this episode of our travel vlog. If you haven't seen the previous ones, or check out our Denmark videos, our Copenhagen food videos and everything, you'll love it. But now, let's go to Sweden. So Tim, what useful information do you have about the bridge? Uh, it's like part bridge, part tunnel, and where the bridge goes into the tunnel is like an artificial island that's not accessible for people. It's only like birds and everything, like wildlife. And it's called Peberholm, it's like, like, like Pepper Island, I don't know. And there's like also next to the bridge, there's like a bigger island, I think, which is a natural one, and it's called Saltholm. Salt, Saltholm, so like salt islands of salt and pepper. Our first day in Sweden. I'm tired. You're tired? But you gotta tell us what we did today. We drove <laughs> of the bridge from Copenhagen to Malmö. Well, we've seen that part, yeah. And then we drove to uh, those stones, what was the name? Alles Stenar. Alles Stenar. Which is beautiful, they were 1400 years ago, they were put there in the shape of a ship. It was really interesting and it was of course very touristy and there was so much wind. It was It was right at the coast, crazy. there was so much wind you could like, uh, almost like, let yourself fell over and be carried by the wind so you wouldn't Yeah, actually... especially on the cliff, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the cliff was like super hard. Yeah, but the stones also, it looked nice, it looked interesting, it had a little bit of a Stonehenge vibe. They weren't as big, but it was nice. And we took some nice pictures and yes. it was nice to just visit that spot, I have to say. And then we drove to Istat, which is like a coastal town. A really nice city. Close by. But we made an emergency stop at the beach, so. which was really beautiful beach. Oh, yeah. You just walked over a little dune kind of area. For there was it. nobody else. It was really beautiful. Nala loved it. She could run around a little yeah. bit. And the sun came out right at that moment as well. Yeah. Which was nice. It was really nice. Yeah. And then we went to Istat, and which has a really nice historical center with a with an old monastery and everything. Yeah, it was really beautiful. Really there were so many beautiful flowers there. Mm -hmm. But all those houses so nice and colorful. And we found like a nice, yeah, what was it, like a cafe outside with like a huge garden where you could mm. sit. It was really nice. It was really nice. Oh, we had amazing yeah. food. And I used my Swedish for the first time because I ordered the food in Swedish, which yeah. was worked out quite yeah. good actually. So I'm you can quite be proud, proud of yourself. yourself. Yeah, I just said you were you yeah. can be proud of yourself. Yeah. That yeah, was nice. And we tried new stuff, or at least I did. And I got a strawberry pie with mm. vanilla sauce, which was amazing. And pudding and sauce. vanilla custard or something. Mm. And I had like a chocolate bowl with Coconut and also I think there's also like some, some coffee flavor in there as well. Mm. It's like really heavy, like really thick, but it was also really amazing. Mm. Yeah. And then we drove yeah. back to, or then we drove to our final destination of today, um, to Mölle. Mölle. But we made a quick stop at what we thought was Niels Holgersson's origin story place. So we made another quick stop on the way at this little castle and the fun part is this is the castle or at least this region or the, around the castle is the place where the story of Niels Holgersson comes from. Niels is a guy that lives on a farm or works on a farm or maybe even a castle and then he gets turned into a dwarf because he's not happy with his life and then he rides on the back of a goose and uh, with the whole group of, of geese they fly south for the winter and he has all these adventures. North. It was north. Lapland. 
Did he go to north? Didn't oh. they always go to Lapland? I it's all the way south. in the north. But the, but they always go south for the for the winter when it's warm. I don't know. Anyway. Mm. In my head, is, they always go to Lapland and that's all the way north. I don't know. But it is uh, such a fun story. And I've watched the television show when I was little. So I just said to Tim, I have to stop there. I have to see where Niels Holgersson comes from. And this is it. I'm going. Just so you know, I also love Niels Hogerson. I watched it as a kid and I even still know the melody of the song. And the, the castle is called Svanenholm's Slot. And there's also a small town just before it, which has the same name as well. So we misled you, like we do all the time here, because we think we know something and then we don't. This castle, this one, is not the castle where the story from Niels Hogerson comes from. It is this area, that's right, but there was no castle. I couldn't remember our castle anyway, but so we were, we it's thought like we... A, like a village close yeah. by. It's this area and, and that's nice. And then we arrived in Merle. Merle. Merle, the peninsula, uh, with an amazing bay, beautiful yeah. sea. It's like the last town before the end of the peninsula. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and there was service everywhere and it was very very windy you have to say mm. but it was beautiful to walk around a little bit and then we got to meet Frida Frida yeah. was um, one of our stuff for a all the way uh, uh, from where she lives like one hour by, mm -hmm. by bus or something yeah she came to meet us we had a mm. really nice hike up to a restaurant that in the end ended up being closed yeah. We just it looked so amazing and also the yeah. food was supposed to be very good but they closed like almost two hours before we arrived. So. Yeah. And then we hiked all the way back to the harbor again where we already were and it was there was a really nice restaurant there with Nada was welcome and it, yeah. the food was really good. I had a really nice schnitzel. And yeah, we said like also like kind of like like winter garden thing or something, mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh yeah, drinks, a and really yeah. nice elderflower yeah. cider I have to say. The view was so amazing because when we sit there, like the sun was coming through again, and we had like the gorgeous view of the the, the water and the coastline and the, the sunset. Oh, it was yeah. so amazing! It was really good, and it was such a fun night. Frida is such a fun person, so yeah, it was a perfect way to close off the first day in Sweden, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And now you are tired, so you want to no, go to sleep. Well. Tomorrow we'll we'll drive to a place where we'll stay for three nights near Grenna yeah. with our first official like Swedish summer house, like one of mm -hmm. those red wooden houses there are like all over Sweden. Is this it's one red or is it grey? It's grey. No, oh, it's red. Okay. It's red. Uh, those are called Stuga. Mm -hmm. So it's like, a, it's like a Swedish summer house. A lot of yeah. people have a summer house. So we'll take you along with us there. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for the next episode. This episode is done for now, right? Mm. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. We always like it if you do that. Right? And now I've already and we'll passed out cycling. And we'll probably show you the hopefully amazing breakfast we will have ne the next morning in this beanie. Ooh. I can't wait for tomorrow morning. Yeah. But I'm gonna sleep now as well because I'm tired from the whole day and driving and everything. So Yeah, I'm really tired. You can close off. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to close off too. Mm -hmm. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. Well, somebody somebody turn off the light. No, no, no. Somebody turn off the camera, please. Can Nala do that? Nala, can you put off the camera? No, no. Nala. Nala. No, she's asleep. She's asleep. Anyway. Yeah. Bye. Bye.